Candy bars, crossword puzzles. Oh, Mad Libs, fine. <laughs> Mad Libs is an American word template game invented in the 1950s. It's not as popular as it used to be, but we'll try to breathe some life into it today. The engaging gameplay involves a fill-in-the-blank prompt. Actually, that's all it really is. Speaking of blasts from the past, the edgy teens of the 2010s might recall Creepy Pastors, a horror story wiki for writers to post their freaky deaky tales. You have the classics like Jeff the Killer. Oh, it's repeated now. And other fan favorites such as Laughing Jack. Even if you haven't been on Creepy Pasta before, you might even be aware of the popular game and movie that came out, which was based about some guy with no face who couldn't organize his paperwork. My good CS friend Daft Daft Daffy came to me with the idea to fuse the two. To start us off, here's an example of Mad Libs. The most popular Phoebe in tennis is called the Overhand Phoebe. <laughs> and if you win, you must slap your opponent on the Phoebe and say, Hi Phoebe! <laughs> So the creepy pasta generator, so it'll be Mad Libs, but we'll use NLP to make the thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the orange part is going to be the front end, and it's going to flow into all the stuff in the back end. So we're going to put all our templates here, and we'll automate it all with Python. So all the person in the front has to do is just type in what they want, and it'll generate some quality creepy pastas and we'll uh, I feel like we'll do a prints f function print f yeah so we'll embed the um we'll do like an end line insert into the string yeah it's a package we're going to be using by the way oh so what they do is they tag it for you automatically so we don't have to do much thinking so that's um you tag it for you. Oh, that makes things way easier. Exactly. It's on GitHub too, so you can actually yeah. read all the stuff. It's like, I just wait, I'd rather just go get like an honors degree and make this my like. <laughs> oh my god, it's not limited to English. They do Portuguese and Japanese. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's with this package, pretty much half our job is done. Um, now we just have to strip them out and make the user stick it back in. Ooh, uh, so fancy. I'll make green my color because green is my favorite color. Yep. So that's me. Um, <laughs> nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna. And, <laughs> no. and you'll do... I guess you, you can do the HTML. So Wait, what I'm doing? Uh, pick a color so we can highlight which parts you're doing. Purple. Purple, okay. Um, do you want to do the HTML part? We nailed it! We have our plan! It's ready to go! <laughs> so for the first half of this project, it'll just be with me. So we'll write the backend, which will include the NLP and also web scraping. The web scraping package we'll be using is called Beautiful Soup. Its name is derived from tag soup, which means incorrect HTML. So why do we need to web scrape? Well, it's to feed our template library. So what is web scraping? Basically, it runs through a website and returns its HTML elements. So how is it done? Well, I'm glad you asked! First, you find the website you want to scrape. Then you look over the structure of the code and find the elements that you want. Now that you've analyzed the code, you can extract the useful parts out. And that's pretty much web scraping. But Wilpo, how does it look in practice? So here we got two sentence horror stories that we're going to be using. Anyway, let's see what's under the hood. We'll just kind of have to keep digging through these HTML tags until we eventually find our... Ah, so scary! So now we're just making an automated extraction of those tags. So the output here is a list of all the stories from that web page. So while Daft Daft Daffy is working on the HTML, we'll be working on making a prototype. First, it randomly selects a story out of my scraped database, and then the NLP does a count on the number of nouns in the story and prompts us to enter that many minus one. If there are no inputs required, then it cycles to another story. And while Daft Daft Daffy is building the web page, I made this getter GUI window in Loo. I, I reached under the poop to find my missing... But... But I felt another hand in... Uh, hand, hand instead. We really all enjoyed it. <laughs> but you know it doesn't count. Count for what? Just count in our heads as good Mad Libs. 
I guess one dark is over. <laughs> hmm, okay. Uh, let's try another one. So this time we got three nouns. Can't go wrong with poop. And, um... But! <laughs> and, uh, oh, third one. Um... Tentacle. I was always told not to play with my poop, as it is a butt to eat. However, I am one to tease my meals, and killing is always a tentacle. I work in a <laughs> club, and I hate to admit it, but I hear more screams than moans. Don't be scared of monsters. Just look for them. Look to your left, to your right, under your poop, behind you, in your closet. But never look up. She hates being seen. I breathe in the poop and ass back from butt to get my tonsils removed. Looks like little Timmy is finally going to get new pants, and I get a new sponge, I hear. The illicit drugs say as I fall into the void. So Wilpo, what's coming in part two? Well, the logic is working, so all that needs to happen next is for it to have the webpage front end wired up to it. So I guess we'll just have to see if we can get that part up and running. This will be the first time I turn, I like open this program since I graduated. 